has been a whirlwind of a day so far. I had class this morning at 9.25, and then I had to have a lunch meeting with the project head for one of the aerospace projects I'm working on right now, the, the Ornithopter. Um, it's going pretty well. It should be cool. Maybe I'll include some footage of our like process uh, or meetings or something along with that soon. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Anyways, I have to change. I have to go drop off my piece at electrical engineering and then leave because I'm not going to that class because I have to run all the way to the Omni Hotel for a career fair because a bunch of the big tech companies are going to be there and I'm trying to get a job this summer and I've been working my butt off to put together my resume and all this stuff for the last couple days. So <sighs> let's go. All right. Now that I look halfway presentable, let's go talk to some recruiters. I'm pumped. Let's go. Yeah, Shaq West said I'm getting really rich. See how I got it, cause I really went to shit. See Alright, we're just here posted up in Henderson's whip. Uh, listening to She Don't Know by Joe Bees, uh, one of my favorite artists. I'm about to cry in the club right now. It's so touching. Should I let her know it's real? <laughs> Should I tell her how oh, I feel tonight? Yeah, girl. <laughs> there we go. For those of you that are too new to the channel to get that reference right there, the song me and Henderson was listening to was She Don't Know by Joe Bees, a song that I actually directed a music video to almost like a year ago before before I even got to yell. You're probably wondering who Joe Bees is, and Joe Bees is my brother, of course, and he loves making music. He's been working on it for a long time now. Uh, she Don't Know was one of his very first songs, shot a music video for it, and now he's been producing a lot of new stuff. He's on Apple Music, Spotify, everything. I'll leave the links. Definitely go check him out. Uh, he's been working really hard on that. With that, let's move on to the next clip where I think that I'm prepping for a magic show with Jake. All right, right now I'm on my way to go catch up with Jake. We're actually prepping for our community night magic show, which is gonna happen on Tuesday. You guys have seen on the community night shows before they've all been amazing and we're super psyched for what we're about to share on tuesday it's a it's a little bit of a stretch definitely something we've never done before but we're excited jake you want to explain what we're doing we're making some blood yeah. making some fake blood right now for the uh the magic show exactly why do we need fake blood i guess you're gonna have to watch the community night performance video to find out Mm -hmm. Because it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be, it's gonna be off the the uh, metaphorical chain. Exactly. Just turned midnight. I have been sitting here uh, attempting to debug since about 9 p.m. this evening. And basically, for my CSP set this week, we had to do the, the traveling salesman problem, but we had to do it using three completely different methods. Um, and these methods could be inputted through the command line, they could be inputted multiple times, and basically, it's a traveling salesman problem with every single airport and you have to use their latitude and longitude values to calculate the distance. It's, I'm not going to go into the details. Basically, I was having a problem where for some reason the value of a variable was just instantly changing for like no apparent reason at all. I was trying to find the problem and literally took me three hours and I realized that I forgot to initialize an array. For those of you that don't know, an array and like programming is just a block of contiguous memory and I was using some of that memory but I wasn't using the end of it and that the end of the memory was just full of garbage values that had been left in memory from some other program 
So my program was reading those garbage values and just messing everything up. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't have that problem with Python. But since I'm coding in C, I gotta worry about those types of things. So, lesson learned, rookie mistake. Initialize all your arrays to zeros before you start using them. And uh, with that, I have to be up in five hours for ROTC. I think we call tonight. Still not done.